you're about to add any new fixtures to your home, such as a tub, a sink, a toilet, or a shower, or if you're just making general changes to your plumbing system, it's a good opportunity for you to switch from copper to PEX tubing. I'm going to walk you through that process in this video, and if you're wondering why you might want to switch from copper to PEX, you can check out our other video on the topic. The first step is to turn off water service to the entire house. Or if you have a valve that will turn off water to the affected area only, turn off this valve instead. Next, drain water from the system by opening both the hot and cold sides of the lowest faucet in the house. Then, starting from the top of the house, open all the sink faucets and flush the toilets. Imagine this sink is your new fixture. After the water is drained from the pipes, you want to locate the nearest accessible water line to the new fixture and plan the most direct route from that line to the fixture. Once you locate the area to run your PEX to the new fixture, cut out 10 to 12 inches of copper pipe and let the excess water drain from the system. Do this for both hot and cold lines. Make sure to deburr the copper after you cut it so you have the best possible flow. In the area of the cut tube, clean and prepare PEX adapters and solder them to the two ends of the cut tube so you can insert PEX tubing. Position the PEX T in two equal lengths of PEX tube between the sweated fittings. Trim off excess tube and crimp in the PEX assembly to properly secure your new PEX system. Now that you have your PEX connection, you'll simply crimp in your new supply line. If you planned well, it should point and lead directly to your new fixture. That's the basic process for starting a PEX run from a copper system. If you have any questions, you can ask us in the comments section. And remember to subscribe to our channel because we're going to come out with a lot more content.